everyone, I'm Jody, and welcome to my channel. I'm really glad that you're here today. So today's video was inspired by one of my loyal subscribers, Marion, who had asked for a bright, bold red lip and the makeup that accompanies it to allow it to look its very best. So that is what has inspired this look today. I typically don't wear a bright red lipstick, although it does make your teeth look very white. I just prefer to play it the other way with a brighter eye and a played down lip. But it is a fun change to do and it just looks great on a variety of people. I like to pair a bright, bold red lip with a more simple, sophisticated, almost sleeked back hairdo. So today you'll see I just have very slick, straight hair, very clean lines, not a lot of curl, sometimes even in a sleek, pulled back ponytail, just to give more of an elegant type, professional, high-end fashion type look. Then I will play down my eyes with just a little bit of a black liner. When I think of red lips, I just think of like Jackie O. So I just felt very Chanel, Jackie O inspired today with my pearls. Uh, these would, these are from Ted Baker. They're probably considered vintage at this point. They're, I don't even know how old they are, but I just love them and I was looking for a reason to wear them. And so, I mean, when better to wear them than with a bright red Jackie O inspired look for Marion. So if you're interested in this look, then stick around because I'm gonna take you step by step on how to achieve it. All right, you guys, so to get started, the first thing that you wanna do is make sure that you have the most flawless foundation or base that you can, with the most important factor being any redness that you have to conceal that. Because what will happen is the redness on your face, if you have any red areas, it will start to compete with that redness in your lips throughout the course of the day and it will just not quite look right. They'll highlight each other. So getting a good concealer, covering up any of those red spots and then covering it with your foundation is a really critical first step. Then what you wanna do is look at the tone of your red lipstick and ensure that your blush does not compete from a tone perspective. Today I'm using the Soft Rose by Chanel because it's just a very, it's a soft rose. It's just a very soft color. You almost can't tell that you have it on, which again is so key to a red lip. It's keeping everything as a supporting actor, if you will, sort of backstage and the lips are absolutely front and center and they hold the attention. So the eyes are gonna be much softer with just a nice blacked wing liner and just a very nude blush look. And then the red lips. So once we get your blush on, and again, just very soft and natural, but almost muted in color, then we're gonna to go to our eyes. Now for eyeshadow, I just used from the Naked Palette too. I love this one because it just has nice, flat, neutral colors, and you can, for a variety, variety, variety of skin tones, you can find a nude or a blend to get more of that nude look to your eyes. And I just used Stark, which is this color right here. And I just went in and went over my entire eyelid. I'm just gonna do it again so you can see. I went over everything from the inner corner up to the brow, outer corner, and the whole lid. And again, I'm just doing it over so that you can see. I wasn't gonna do this part on camera, but put some eyeshadow on my hand and yeah, I start painting. And then what I wanna do is just take, so you just wanna look for a matte, neutral eyeshadow that goes with your foundation that just looks about the same color. Then just grab a little smudgy brush like this one. This is one of my favorites. This is BK Beauty's 207, I think. Yeah, 207. And I'm gonna go into this color right here, this cover. And it's just about two shades darker than that first neutral color that we put on. So whatever that is for you. And I'm just gonna put a little dab of it right in that outer eye socket. And then we'll blend that in just a second. But the, else, the other thing about where that mark is gonna be is that's where you want your liquid eyeliner or your wing, if you will, to stop right at that dark spot. So that's why I like to put that there first. And then go in with your liquid eyeliner before you've blended that wing. Start with that dark spot. Bring the line to the center of your eye and then from that outer corner of your eye up to that dark spot. And that gives you that nice tight winged line. Same over here, so I know where that dark spot is in my corner of my eye. Now, of course it's easier because I've done this earlier today. And again, I wasn't gonna do this part on camera because this is all about the lips, but here we go again. But when you put that dark color right in that corner, it keeps you from getting your wing way up here too far out, this one's at a different angle. It just, for me, it's just easier 
to get the look that I want when I kind of mark it with that. And then we're gonna blend that out, that darker shadow out, so it does serve its purpose. But right now it's our wingliner template. Now once your eyeliner is dry, take a big round fluffy brush and just go in and softly blend out that shadow by bringing it up into your crease. If you have hooded eyes, you'll just put this right above where your eye is open so that you get the color behind your lashes. And just blend it ever so softly all the way into the crease with more color on the outer side of the crease and then the colors fading as you bring it in to the inner eye and sort of blend it into the side of your nose. Then you'll go back in if you made any mistakes. I like to use this, act, this cleansing water by Garnier and get it on the corner of your Q-tip and then go in and just clean up that edge so that it is nice and straight. This is like our eraser when you're back in school. And then I will take a clean synthetic brush with a little bit of concealer just to make it really sharp. Gosh, all this for red lips. That's why you need a good red lipstick so that it lasts a long time because it's a lot of work to put on red lips. And next we'll go in with just a little tiny eyeshadow brush and you can go back in with those colors, sort of neutral colors. I really want to brighten that up underneath so I'm going to go in with that same color that I put on my eyelid and just ever so lightly go underneath my eye just because I want to make it more bright in that area versus dark. And then you'll just apply however many coats of mascara you normally apply, being sure that you pull that mascara out a little bit just to give your eyes a little bit more of that openness and width so that it aligns with your winged liner. All right, now we'll go to the red lip, which is the reason that you're all here today, right? I know you're like, Jody, get to it. But this other, these other steps are important. So you're gonna go back to your concealer, whatever concealer you use. And since it took you a long time to find the right color red, you want to get that color payoff onto your lips. So I'm just gonna cover my lips. That is not a good look. And I'm gonna go in after I've covered my lips. Talk about a nude lipstick. Then I'm gonna go in and add some color to my lips just as quickly as I possibly can. I'm gonna use the Naked Decay Bad Blood 24 Hour Lip Liner and carefully line my lips. Now, because this is very little room for air, I'm not going to talk while I do this. You guys all know how to line your lips. So, and if you don't use lip liner, I would think about using a lip liner when you're using a red lip because if red lipstick can starts to bleed into any of those fine lines, it's it's just not, it's really hard to control it. And sometimes that, and so a good lip liner will act as a barrier, if you will, to keep your lipstick from bleeding into those lines. Bad Blood is a really pretty, a good neutral red. It can work well with more blue undertone reds as well as warm undertones. I just think this is a really pretty one. Again, you'll want to pick the right one for your skin type and people in this stores will be happy to help you. Once you've got your outline the way you want and you're comfortable with all the lines being as straight as they can be, then you'll go back in and cover the entire lip with your lip liner. Once you've got that all filled in, then you're gonna to go to your red lipstick. And again, this is Dior 773 and I'm just using a tapered synthetic brush and I want to just coat the brush on both sides and really and then go in and just smooth it out all over my lips painting in everything smiling so that I'm really filling in those cracks as well and the reason I like to use a brush with an angle on it is so that I can get that nice straight edge where I put that lip liner and keep it straight and I like to line the edge of the brush with that line on my lip and then pull it down Now, unlike our eyeshadow, when we put eyeshadow in certain areas, we really just want that product on the tip. With this, you want the product on the side of the brush as well as the edge because we're gonna push it on the edge and pull down. So we want that product to go right on our lip. And once you feel like you have the intensity of the red that you want, then you put down the brush and, and stop. <laughs> we're gonna do that right now. Once you get that color though, take your finger, once it's clean, of course, put it in your mouth and pull out like that. That helps get any of that red that's on the inside from getting on your teeth. We've probably all been in that situation where we go to smile and we realize that we have a bunch of red lipstick across our teeth. If you just do that every so often, it just helps pull 
that forward. Next, you wanna pick up a flat edge synthetic brush, go back to your concealer and put the concealer right on the edge and the side of the brush. Cause again, that side is gonna to touch the side of our face and we want that unlike sometimes when there's eyeshadow. And you'll just go around your lips with that edge and blend this concealer out into the rest. You don't want this to look light at all. You just want to create a more straight line, very defined lip. Now to make sure this lasts throughout your event, your evening, take a single ply tissue. Kleenex tissue or toilet tissue works best. Place it over your lips with a light dusting of translucent powder. You can certainly apply a lip gloss if you want to give it just a little more shine. And then, uh, you know, grab your favorite pair of black sunglasses and you have a sophisticated look. Thanks so much for watching everyone. Hope you enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up and share it along with any girlfriends that might be looking for a reason to wear bright red bold lip. And thanks again, Marion, for requesting this video. I hope you enjoyed it.